Hello, today we'll be looking into two SwiftUI components, date picker and multi-date picker. Date picker, which we use to choose a date and if a time, if we decide so, and multi-date picker, where you can select one or more dates. We'll implement both of them and change their appearance. This time we're gonna use, we're gonna go back to our calendar scene where we had a view that was displaying a UI calendar view. We're gonna create a picker where we're gonna switch between calendar and date pickers in Swift UI. And here's what we have to so just a picker and then we select what type of view. Now in our date pickers, we're gonna start with the first one that was released in Swift UI, which is date picker. So you can see we can provide a title, the selection, and let's start with that. And here the selection needs to be a binding date, different from the one in, that we were using with UI calendar view, which was an optional. So we have to create a different state. a text to display this date you have our date picker we can select the date and the time we have the beautiful calendar format that we have it collapses if we wanted something like we had in our calendar scene where the calendar is being displayed we can also do that with date picker style and we can choose graphical and that will display a calendar view and here we can select the time in case you want to hide the time we can use display components and just display date the default state for this is date and hour and minute now something that we had, if we're comparing with our calendar view here, we were locking in the selection to just the current month. We can do something similar here, but we cannot use date interval. However, we can use this handy convenience method. Uh, we do have the, we're gonna be changing the identifier just like we did in, uh, with UI calendar view. So let's use this select that identifier and instead of returning a date interval we're returning a closed range of date and here in our date picker we can choose after selection and display components in and we pass in the date interval. Now notice how the view updated, we cannot select any other month or year. Immediately it defaults back. And it's up three months. We still cannot change the year, however we can change the month. Same with the buttons here, we can go through it. And when we select, there we have our date here. So it's very simple to use, very fast to implement, and you can change the behavior really easy. Same for the appearance with the picker style, you can choose from all of the pickers you know from Apple. So we also have the wheel here, which is the one that takes a lot more space. And let's stay with uh, the default one. and just displaying the date. So that's date picker, very easy to use, very easy to implement, and your customization is a little bit limited. We cannot do something as complex as we did in calendar where we were adding decoration views.
for that I will recommend using UI Calendar View. But if you're just looking for a quick and easy way to display a date picker, to select just a date and that's it. Well, date picker is your way to go. You can select the compact style or the calendar one. Now, one that was released recently was multi date picker, where we can select multiple dates. Here, let's also add a title. And in our selection is a set of date components. So just like with your calendar view, we're not working directly with date, we're working with date components. And here we have a view very similar to our UI calendar view. And we can select multiple dates. Now let's see these dates in action. Text. Selecting, and there we have our date. We can deselect a date, and in this uh, component, the uh, today date is highlighted like this. Now we can also limit the range, just like we did here. The difference here is that in is a range, not a close range. Yeah, we'll see how the back arrow was disabled. Now we can, just like we did with our date picker and the UI calendar view, we can select from the dates in the selected date range. And that's pretty much for multi-date picker. If we want to play a little bit more with the appearance, for example, in our UI calendar view, we could change the calendar identifier and that change how this was displayed. So for example, here change is different. Uh, Buddhist, notice how the year changed. Hebrew, let's do the same with our multi day picker. So let's extract this picker to a variable. How do we change the calendar identifier in our multi-date picker with environment? So the key path is calendar. We're going to change the calendar in the multi-date picker and we do it with the initializer of calendar that we were using uh, here. And we do exactly the same. The calendar identifier is the selected identifier. Now because we're also limiting the range in the calendar, it's important to 
have this date range be initialized with that identifier. So this one and this one. If not, the preview will crash because your uh, ranges will change when we change the identifier. Okay, so here we have it, Gregorian. Let's change the identifier and our multi-date picker changes. Date selection still works. Gregorian. All good. That was all for today. Date picker and multi-date picker from SwiftUI are easy to use and simple. If you require something more complex, I would advise to resort to UI kit implementations such as UI calendar view or the date picker that from that framework. Regardless of that, SwiftUI offers a quick and easy setup with these two views. They are also very powerful. As you can see in our implementation, we can change the calendar and it still displays something similar to UI calendar view. Hope you liked the video. Bye.